and welcome everyone. So after passing 2000 subscribers, I've been getting so much more questions about me, my personal life, my style and everything else. And that is why I decided to film a Q&A because I just feel like it would be amazing for you to know me a little bit better and I would love to answer all of your questions. So a couple of days ago, I went on my Instagram and I asked you guys to send me all of your questions. I got so, so many questions and I'm gonna try and answer as many of them as possible today. I will definitely do a video like this again. So make sure that you're following me on Instagram so that you don't miss out on asking your question the next time. So before we get into the video, I wanted to take a quick little second and say thank you, thank you, thank you for 2000 subscribers. I said it before, I will say it again. It is still insane to me that so many people are watching these videos. And in honor of my 2000 subscribers, I did a giveaway and this is the moment where I'm gonna announce you the winner. So I randomly picked a winner and the winner is at Siona Giacinto. Jaya Sinto, I am so sorry if I said that wrong, but Siona, you're the winner. I'm gonna contact you on Instagram and I will send you the style bundle. If you haven't won this time, I am very sorry. I will definitely do a giveaway soon again. So make sure to follow me on Instagram and to be subscribed to this channel so that you don't miss out on that. So I kind of went through all of the questions. I kind of made sure that I don't answer the same question over and over again. But if you've submitted a question that I'm not answering this time, it's because I've got so, so many questions that this video would just be hours and hours long to answer all of them. But I'm gonna try and answer as many as possible. So at Miss Anastasia T asks, how do you discover the 60s and 70s to yourself? By the way, I really love everything that you do. Thank you so much for these kind words. Um, I feel like everyone kind of says that, but for me, it's been the music. I've always kind of loved to listen to The Beatles and The Doors and Led Zeppelin, but a couple of years ago, I really, really got into it and I started like reading all about them and just really getting interested in the time period. I'm also a big fan of Sharon Tate. That's what also really drew me into that time zone. And I also majored in history in school. So I'm really interested in history and I feel like the 60s and 70s were such an interesting time especially talking about like the revolution and everything I just think the 60s and 70s are an amazing time period and I just absolutely love the fashion I think it is so much more fun than like modern-day fashion at Nora Stel Klinga asks your favorite fashion muses so I really have a lot of people I take inspiration from but I would say the top are probably Anita Pellenberg, Marian Faithful, Patty Boyd, Stevie Nicks, Sharon Tate, Brian Jones and like the Rolling Stones in general, Jim Morrison of The Doors, Led Zeppelin, especially Robert Plant and Jimmy Page. I'd say these are just some of my biggest muses, but I just really love the time overall and I feel like there were so many different styles back then and I really love that it is so versatile and some days I really love to wear like a classic 60s mod fit and then the next day I'm really into like a 70s boho look. So I feel like even though these are like some of my muses and some of the people I take the most inspiration from, the time period in general General is just really inspiring to me and my style. So next up I combined a few questions because a lot of people wanted to know about my favorite bands and also bands I would love to see in concert or would have loved to see in concert in the 60s and 70s. So my favorite bands are Led Zeppelin, The Doors, The Beatles obviously, The Kings, The Birds. I feel like there are so many amazing bands of the time. The Rolling Stones obviously. I'm also a huge Creedence Clearwater Recital fan. I think they're so underrated. I absolutely love to listen to Bob Dylan. I love Simon and Garfunkel, Tommy Lee and the Shondells. I feel like there were so many amazing bands back then that it's just super hard for me to tackle like my top three or anything. Well the next question is the top three bands I would love to see live. Ooh, that's such a hard one but I'd probably go with The Doors, The Beatles, and Led Zeppelin. Like whenever I see concerts of them or like videos of them performing, it's just such an experience and I would have loved to experience that myself. Gina asks, how do you build up the courage and confidence to dress vintage? By the way, I love your style. Thank you so much. So even though I'm kind of a shy person, for some reason, I've never been afraid of dressing the way I love to dress. I was always very confident in like wearing very loud outfits. For me personally, wearing a very 70s or 60s inspired look even gives me more confidence because I feel like 
when I feel good in my own skin, I just go through the day so much different. And that's really what works for me. And one thing that I try to tell myself over and over again is that there are so many people out there who I shouldn't care so much about what they think. If I think I look good in something, then I don't care if like a hundred other people don't think so because it is about what I think, it is about what the people I love think. I feel like I'm kind of rambling, but maybe you understand where I'm trying to go, which I just basically would love you to dress for yourself and not to dress for anyone else because you are you and as cliche as it may sound your time on this planet is limited so wear the outfit that you want to wear i feel like a lot of people are always like mm, i don't want to wear this because i want to wear for a special occasion the special occasion is the day the special occasion is that you're going grocery shopping or whatever just wear what you like and just don't think about what other people think of you i know that it is so much easier said than done and i absolutely struggle with that too sometimes but i just try to remind myself that it really doesn't matter what other people think sarah el hassi asks favorite 60s year That's it's hard but probably 69 just because of all the political things going on and also it was the year that Woodstock happened it just really was a year filled with amazing music so I think I would go with 69 so Rose asks if you had to pick the 60s or the 70s that is a hard one um, because I kind of really love the period like right between I really love that late 60s early 70s spirit I, I feel like that was a time of amazing music amazing fashion but if i had to choose i would probably go with the 60s but if if that also counts i would love to choose like the time period from like maybe 67 to 73 if that's possible so laura says i need to know do you listen to lana del rey i did i used to listen to a lot of lana del rey i don't really listen to a lot of Lana Del Rey anymore just because I feel like I really need to be in the mood to listen to her and a lot of times I really like more of like a heavy guitar sound but I do and my favorite song by her will probably be National Anthem I think she made some amazing songs so Sarah asks why do you decided to open a YouTube channel by the way I love your videos Thank you so much, Sarah. This really means a lot. Honestly, I liked the idea of doing it for a while. So basically it all started when the virus began because then I started like posting more on my Instagram about my personal life, about like the outfits that I wore, the music that I listened to. And people started asking questions on how I started dressing vintage and wanted to know how I do my makeup and stuff. And before like the virus and everything, I was just really involved with work. And then like with the whole lockdown situation and everything, I just had a lot of time on my hands. And so I started doing it. And I'm so, so glad that I did because now I just really love to do it. So this is also like a combined question, but a lot of people basically ask when is my birthday and how old I am and what my zodiac sign is. So I was born on January 19th in 1999 so I'm currently 22 years old and I'm a Capricorn so Jordan asks ever tried or wanted to try psychedelics I want to get in too much into the details here because the legal situation and everything but yes I have and there are some more things that I would love to try so the next question is by Soli Sylvie and she asks what's your job do you plan on making your passion for 60s and 70s part of your career I got a lot of questions about my job and the situation is kind of a bit complicated right now so before the whole pandemic and everything I used to be a prop master on TV shows and movies so I was like touring all over the country, making movies, working on set all day, 16 hours a day, and I really loved it. I started working in the film business full-time when I was 18, so right after school, I absolutely loved it. I had some great years doing it, but with the virus and everything, I wasn't able to work for quite a while just because working on set wasn't considered safe in Germany and so that is basically also when I started posting more on Instagram and more on YouTube because I suddenly had all of that time on my hands and so currently I'm kind of also in a finding phase with myself where I'm really thinking about what I want to do with my life and I kind of want to go to university, want to study something. I would love to make the 60s and 70s a part of my career. I would love to do something with maybe sustainable fashion. I would also love to work in like the history department. I could also see myself becoming a seamstress. I just feel like fashion and the 60s and 70s are such a big part of my life already that I would love to make it a job. But I also see myself continuing working in the movie industry. So I know this is like a very random answer, but I just really don't know where life is taking me right now. And that is fine. I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring out who I am and what I want in this world. And um, what I want to spend my life doing so yeah 
I hope that kind of answered your question. Next up is my friend Joan or Vintage Joan on Instagram and she asks, Who's the person in the community you'd like to meet the most, like for real? I would pretty much love to meet all of you because honestly, and that is like another question that I'm just gonna answer right here because it fits so well. Someone asked if my whole friend group dresses like this, if they're all passionate about vintage. And the simple answer to that is no. I don't know anyone in my personal life and like my friend group who dresses like me, who is really into 60s and 70s. Like, a lot of them love the music. We listen to a lot of 60s and 70s music, which I really appreciate. And every now and then we will have parties and they do like some 60s and 70s looks. But basically, I don't really have anyone close to me who really loves the 60s and 70s as much as I do. So I would love, love, love to meet all of you in person. Every single person who's part of this community. Because I just think it would be so much fun to hang out with people who share the same passion. Lisa says, not a question, but I really love the little TED talk at the end of your videos. They always make my day. That really means a lot to me. Because I really want to brighten up your day with these videos. And if it's working, I'm just really really happy so thank you for sharing that with me Tom asks what's the meaning behind your palm tattoo and did it hurt um first of all this is my palm tattoo it hurt I have a few tattoos on my body none of them hurt this one it, it, there was some pain involved let's just say it took like 30 minutes to do it they were painful it didn't feel nice but i really wanted to get this done and i'm so glad that i did so this really has a few meanings and some of them are really personal and i don't really want to share them but one of the meanings that i'm really happy to share with you is pretty much the obvious meaning i guess and that is to see with your heart and that's something that's really important in my life like I want to see people with my heart. I don't care how you look. I don't care where you're from. I don't care if you have money or not because I want to see and I do see you with my heart. And if I think you have a nice aura, if I think you're a good person to me, then you're a good person to me. And I just feel like a lot of people put other people down and don't see them in a kind way. And have a lot of prejudgment towards other people and for me this tattoo really just means that i see you with my heart and i also see your heart and if you have a good heart i think you're a good person and um yeah that's basically the meaning behind this all you need is love right i just think if you all would see other people with more love the world would be a better place so at poncho underscore cdjb asks what's your favorite season my favorite season is probably fall or spring but probably more fall i don't really like when it's too hot or too cold in the winter it gets really cold here in the summer it gets super hot so i kind of really love like the spring and the fall time and what i really love about fall is when all of the leaves are falling down and i just really love all of the orange and brown colors i think it's beautiful so fall is probably the one at Pulp Diversity says, favorite music era style before you got into the 60s and 70s. I got into the 60s and 70s pretty young and I started dressing vintage pretty young. And before that, my style was pretty basic. It was like a lot of mom jeans and t-shirts or skinny jeans and shirts. I didn't really dabble in a lot of other styles before I started it. And even like looking back, even though I didn't like fully commit to dressing vintage until I was like 18 or 19, I definitely say that I always had like a vintage feel to my looks. Like I have pictures of myself being 12 and wearing a beret and a mini skirt and a very classic shirt. So I feel like I always really liked that style and music wise i feel like the music that i listened to before i really got into classic rock was just your average on the radio music so the next question kind of caters towards this one and it is what are some modern day musicians that you listen to so i would say my big number one here is greta van fleet i love 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 their music i really listen to them a lot i think their music is absolutely amazing and outstanding and they're just my absolute favorite modern day band ever i know it's not really considered modern music but it is definitely way more modern than the 1670s music nirvana i love to listen to nirvana a bit of lana del rey every now and then but not really too much there are two more questions by at pulpy diversity the first one is do people in germany stare at your outfits like they do in the netherlands Yes, 
absolutely and 100% yes. So I used to live in Berlin and Berlin is really open-minded. So people didn't really stare that much. They did, but not that much. And now I moved back to my hometown and it's like a smaller city. It's still considered a big city in Germany, but it's not nearly as big as Berlin is. And people here are staring. I'm like the type of person who walks down the street so lost in her own mind that I don't really realize what's happening beside me. I do have people sometimes coming up to me and telling me that they love my outfits, which I absolutely love that. That's like the coolest and biggest compliment ever. But long story short, Germans do stare at you too. And the next question is by Poppy Diversity too, and it is something people don't expect about you. I think what a lot of people don't expect about me is that I am not a really confident person. I am pretty shy. It's not like I get dressed and I'm like, wow, you look amazing and I feel great and I can absolutely wear this and I love my body. It's not like that for me. I do have bad days. Your body is beautiful the way that it looks, but sometimes it's really hard for me to be nice to myself, kind of, if you know what I mean, and to understand that I don't have to be perfect in every single way. I feel like that's a big one for me. I feel like people always ask me how I am so confident and how I am so happy and loving with myself. And the true answer to all of that is that I'm not. That is why I tell you at the end of every video to enjoy the sunshine, to take yourself some time for you because I really think it is important to focus on you and your mental health. And that is why I always say if you recreate looks, tag me and I will hype you up. And that is why I spend a lot of time on Instagram complimenting other people because I really want everyone to be confident in their own skin. And I'm not always confident in my own skin and that is fine. But I feel like we all should be so much more loving towards each other that I really want to support everyone and I really want everyone out there truly to believe that you are beautiful because you are and coming back to the question i feel like a lot of people don't expect me to be so insecure about myself and so shy but yeah that's just who i am so at sleeping sand asks what was your style like before you started dressing vintage kind of hard to explain i'd say if you scroll back all the way on my Instagram, you might see some pictures, but I really loved the vintage look super early on. So since being 16, I really started to dress kind of vintage, but then there was like a lot of 80s stuff involved as well. And I didn't always wear super vintage looks, but that was kind of when I really started loving, loving, loving the style. And then, and then the older I got, the more committed I got to it. But before that, I'd say for a while, I really liked the mom jeans and like artsy printed shirt so like a van gogh painting printed on a t-shirt and some mom jeans and some sneakers which i don't really like to wear sneakers now anymore but that was definitely a look for a while and then also just the basic skinny jeans and shirt look which i'm not saying that's bad but that was like what i wore back then and i feel like a lot of girls my age back then wore also when i was like 12 or 13 i had a whole year where i refused to wear pants so i would only exclusively wear skirts for a year that was fun i always loved playing around with my style i always loved to play around with my style but nothing really ever felt as confident and as empowering to me as dressing 60s and 70s does. So I got quite a few questions about my style and how I used to dress and how I dress now. So if you're interested, I could make one of these like style evolution videos. I've seen quite a few creators do it. I think that might be fun. I could just go through tons and tons of old pictures and kind of guide you along how I found myself and how I found my style. So if you would like to see a video like that, just leave a comment below telling me and I would love to do it. So Sylvie at La Sylvie on Instagram asks, there are days where you aren't in the mood to wear vintage and you just go normal. Yes and no. So I don't really have a lot of normal clothes in my closet anymore, like normal considered modern day clothes. I have really, really rarely any modern and like normal clothes anymore but there are days where i will just wear some random velvet flares or random velvet pants and a band shirt or so that's like the most casual i go and like the most normal i go i'd say or just maybe some jean shorts and a shirt but like 
all of my shirts are kind of vintage shirts and all of my pants are kind of vintage or vintage inspired pants so I pretty much dress like this every single day to run errands to do whatever I want and I absolutely absolutely love it um, I wouldn't want it any other way next question is what are your tips on starting a vintage wardrobe I actually made a whole video about that which I'm gonna link right here but like my biggest tips would probably be to Go on Pinterest, which follow me on Pinterest. I pretty much update my Pinterest pictures every single week and I think it's a great source for inspiration. And also to just look at a ton of pictures of that time period. I would also recommend you to go through your closet and kind of think out of the box. Like you may have a shirt that you feel like isn't vintage and then the more digging you do, through like pictures of the time, you may find that that shirt works for a vintage look. I would also recommend to just get a few staple pieces that work with so, so many looks. I actually have this whole series, which is 10 ways to style any sort of 60s and 70s piece. In that series, I always try to say that like, you don't really need a ton of clothing. You can just have a few basic, simple pieces and then work off there. And another big tip from me is to not start by buying some vintage shoes for $100 or anything, but go to your, like your local charity shop, your local thrift store and start by just digging through. You will find amazing things and they will probably be really cheap. Leah asks, just out of curiosity, favorite Doris Led Zeppelin, Greta Van Vliet, Beatles and Stones member? <sighs> That's a hard one. Let, let me try. Favorite Doris member, Jim Morrison. Favorite Led Zeppelin member, probably Jimmy Page. Favorite Greta Van Fleet member. Gotta go with Jake. Love him on the guitar. He's amazing. He's he's pretty much right up there. Beatles. Gotta go with George Harrison. Stones is probably Brian Jones. That was hard, but um, these are the ones. Would have been easier if you asked for Queen, because it's Roger Taylor. But <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm pretty confident with my choices here. And the final question is another one that I got asked quite a few times and that is if I sell my clothing, if I sell bundles, if you can buy my wardrobe and stuff that I have. If I style people, if I can style you, if I sell clothing, all of that. And basically right now the answer to that is no, but I kind of really want to do it. And that you guys asked so much about it kind of really empowers me and gives me the confidence to do it so i have a few questions here and if you have a second it would be amazing if you could write a comment answering the following few questions i'm also probably gonna ask this on my instagram but it would be amazing if you could write a comment right now answering these following questions so first of all i don't really feel like selling singular items i would probably more do bundles. So first question, would you be interested in that at all? I said, a lot of people ask me about it and I kind of really want to do it, but just let me know if you personally would be interested in buying a bundle. Next question is like the accessibility. Would you prefer buying it on like an Instagram page or would you rather have me opening an Etsy shop? The next question is, what would be your price range? So say I would style a full outfit for you with accessories, with shoes, with everything. How much would you be willing to pay for that? Because I would really go by like the concept of you telling me who are your favorite muses or maybe I could do themed bundles. And um, yeah, basically you get one outfit, how much would you pay for it? Also for me, the most important thing about this is that it is inclusive for everyone and anyone. So this would be open for everyone worldwide. I have to figure out the shipping. So depending on where you live, it might be a bit more expensive, but especially if you live in Europe, shipping will be pretty inexpensive. Then it obviously would be open for all sizes and genders and whoever you are, I would love to style you. So. Yeah, please answer me these questions and I would love to style you. I feel like it would be amazing to do it and um, I feel like I would have a lot of fun and if you would have a lot of fun with it, that would be perfect, right? So that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. Congratulations to you, Siona, again. I'm gonna reach out to you and I really hope you like what you receive. If you enjoyed this video, I would love you to give it a thumbs up and maybe share it with a friend. It supports me, it supports the channel, and it really would mean a lot. I upload multiple videos every single week all about the 60s and 70s. And if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you around. I hope you're having an amazing day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine, take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.